Hello, my name is Katherine Chapman, and I'm a PhD graduate student from Rutgers University, working with Dr. Binger Huang. Today, I will be discussing my research on the physiological effects of plant health products for improving drought tolerance and post-stress recovery in creeping bentgrass. Drought stress can be very detrimental to the growth and productivity of cool season turf grass plants during periods where there is a lack of rainfall causing a decrease in available water for irrigating plants. And during such times, turf grass managers may implement a practice known as deficit irrigation, where the turf grass is irrigated to replace less than 100% of the water that was lost due to evapotranspiration. And because these practices are put into place, the question is, what alternative methods can be used to improve drought stress tolerance when water supplies are limited? And also, what methods can promote rapid regrowth or reestablishment of turf stands once water use restrictions are no longer in place? And so the main idea of this study was to evaluate fungicides as plant health products in the absence of disease to determine if they have any type of physiological effects on drought tolerance and post drought recovery during rewatering. Therefore, our objectives were to investigate the effects of fluazinim plus acibenzolar alone or in combination with azoxystrobin plus acibenzolar and or trinaxipac ethyl in terms of overall physiological health of turf under different irrigation regimens in the absence of diseases. And the other objective is to determine how these products affect turf grass persistence and post-stress recovery. So we conducted this study on creeping bent grass field plots cut at fairway height, and it was carried out in an automated rainout shelter. Movement of the shelter was triggered by a weather station, which closes and covers the plots at the beginning of a rain event, and then retracts back to an open position when the rain ceases. And each product was evaluated under either well irrigated, 60% ET deficit irrigation, or drought conditions in the field for 28 days after which plots previously exposed to the moderate 60% ET or severe drought stress were rewatered by irrigating to achieve full soil capacity for 21 days. Measurements taken during the pre-stress, stress, and post-stress phases of the experiment included leaf relative water content, visual turf quality, and green canopy density expressed as normalized difference vegetation index. We saw that secure action alone or in combination with heritage action and or primo enhanced the turf quality of creeping bentgrass after 28 days of both the deficit irrigation and the drought treatments. These treatments also enhanced turf quality after 21 days of rewatering post-stress. Most notably, the treatment consisting of secure action in combination with heritage action and primo showed the most pronounced effects, especially during the rewatering phase. And that is something that I wanted to draw your attention to is the post-stress recovery phase, where secure action in combination with heritage action and primo really promoted rapid recovery of turf from drought stress by improving leaf hydration status with relative water content and green canopy density with normalized difference vegetation index. Overall, we saw improvements in turf quality, green canopy density, and leaf relative water content in all treatments throughout the trial, but this was particularly seen in plots treated with a combination of all three of the products. And significant findings in this trial can help shed more light on how these products influence water use and conservation during periods of drought or water use restrictions, and how they can aid in promoting post-drought recovery when normal watering conditions are restored. Specifically, this study highlights how fungicides can be utilized by turf grass managers for improving drought tolerance and recovery through regrowth of new tissues upon rewatering. I would just like to thank you all for taking the time to listen to my presentation and to thank Dr. Huang for her support. So please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.